Sergeant Glowacki and his work out here as a member of the Second Brigade SFAT you know, epitomizes what we want to see in a Marine non-commissioned officer. If, you know, if there's hard work to be done, he's the first one to do it, regardless of conditions or adversity. Um, you know, his, his actions, not his words, demonstrate what right looks like. Uh, you know, we normally wake up around 5.30, 6 o'clock. We normally start the day out with some coffee, fire, and then we help out making chow for the rest of the camp. And then, you know, just help build morale around, it, around the camp. You know, people come up for chow, say there's a fire going there. Spend a couple minutes by the fire before they go in and get their chow. Here you go, buddy. Uh, next, we normally go around and we get the camp, the fuel readings, which is to determine how much fuel we got on camp. And then we turn that in, you know what I'm saying? That goes up to higher. Uh, we got five different generators, you know I'm saying, on this camp running 24 7. I'm saying so at all times, I'm saying we need to know where the fuel is at so we can get new fuel in so we don't run out. If we run out, you know what I'm saying, all, all the lifelines are gone, you know what I'm saying? Our, obviously, we got secondary and tertiary means of communicating with Leatherneck, but other than that, you know what I'm saying, we lose heat, we lose AC, we lose MWR. Medical, you know, so it's got to stay up and running. So we got to keep accurate account how much fuel we got on deck. Works well with the Afghans. They all love him. Come up to him, want to shake his hand every time they see him. Come, sometimes they even hunt him down. So I think it's important they see the, you know what I'm saying, the real person that's, that, that's there. You know what I'm saying to do the mission. They, they they can tell people that are trying to be fake and people that are fake. And I don't act that way with any of them. He's got a solid relationship with with all of them no matter where he goes. I think it's just his personality. It's, I think it's the way he was raised, you know, the way he's had to, the way he's always done things. So, yeah, has a lot to do with that. He is the fighter leader. He leads by example. You know, he demonstrates initiative. It really is an honor and a pleasure to serve with him.